first thing in the morning, we got sent a call of a man pulling a lady through a broken window at a house. I hopped in my car from my partner, and I happened to be about 30 seconds ahead of my, my team, and I got there, and there was a gentleman holding a knife to his wife's throat. I quickly realized he didn't speak any English, so did my best at Spanglish. Um, and over time got him to release her, and Deputy Ramos was able to show up a little bit later and talk to him to kind of de-escalate the situation a little bit more and resolve things peaceably without things ending tragically. Me and my partner were on duty. It was my second day here in Vista, so we both went up there and once we got on scene, they kind of informed me what was going on, that the subject was in there. He was possibly trying to hurt himself. From there, I kind of took over at that point and kind of started talking to the individual. And he had a, when I first saw him, he had a knife to his throat. Um, and I felt at that point, my job was kind of to empathize what he was going through, try to figure out what's going on. And I was able to kind of build a rapport with him. And we were able to detain him safely without him hurting himself, anybody else, or my partners. Some of the qualities that uh, Jorgen, my, my partner, I call him JP, uh, that he possesses is his ability to lead his fellow deputies. Uh, he's he's a, a leader on his team. He's able to delegate tasks. He's able to take a step back and prioritize what needs to happen. He does what's right when nobody's looking, and that's what people expect from their law enforcement officers is to do what's right, and he, he does that time and time again when he's working. Talking about Deputy Pedersen first, I, I think he's a great deputy. I think he, he does his job very well. He did a great job by just making everybody safe first, getting the victims out if he could, and then making sure he slowed things down enough where he was able to bring a Spanish speaker. When Deputy Ramos showed up and was able to actually build a rapport with this gentleman and get him to put both, not only just the knife, but also scissors down, I mean, that was huge. And he was trying to do whatever he could just to be able to keep this person focused on him so that he would not get distracted and actually hurt himself. What me and my partners do every day is something that we leave our families for to go and try and benefit the society, but I appreciate the positivity it shows for law enforcement and what officers do every day. So we're grateful for our recognition, um, but at the end of the day, you know, we're, this is what we're trained to do. We do it day in, day out.